All right, so in this phase, we're gonna take the footwork drills that Dan just got done telling you about with the outfielders, and we're gonna put them into live time, real time. So it's important to, it's important to know, first, uh, you run this drill without balls first. Have your player set up where Dan is, and then just call out left or right or whichever way, and then cue that player. And then, you know, don't get them confused. So call their left for left and their call their right for right. And they'll learn about the difference between right field and left field later. But run, it, run that uh, without throwing balls. Run it dry first and then progress into using uh, fly balls. And depending on the level of your, uh, your player, the age, the talent, you don't have to do it with softballs or baseballs. You can do it with the squishy balls uh, and tennis balls with the bucket drill. We have videos earlier if you need a reference point to that with the squishy balls, tracking the ball, headbutting squishy balls, bucket drill, catching. You can reference back to those drills. But, so you can run this any way you want. But this is what these drills will look like in real time. There you have it. Dan, you want to add anything to that? No, and just go back and watch the footwork drill. If, if you're like, all right, great, but you haven't watched the footwork drill on the drop stepping or reading a ball that's in front of you, right at you, um, just watch those. And then you'll see more of what's going on with the footwork in this drill. And it's important to, to be aware of what the talent level is of your player. At first, if they need to really work on it, just call or point the direction, point to that cone. They'll turn and run to it, then you throw the fly ball. As they start to get it, then you start doing what I did with Dan, where you're throwing it while they're running and teaching them to track on the run. Yeah, yep, and a lot of this stuff, there's a lot of psychology that goes into it, not that we're psychologists, but if you're a coach, you kind of have, maybe inherently learn a little bit of that stuff. You want them to feel successful too. So you can progress the team or the kids if they're ready to do it, but if they're struggling and failing a lot, bring them back to something they could be successful in. Because a big part of this sport Confidence, the mentality Absolutely. that Yogi Berra said it's 90% 90 per, 90 mental and the other half is physical. Mm -hmm. And then he's just was brilliant. Yeah, he's making a point there. <laughs> um, so building confidence in the kids while having fun drills, um, I think that's, that's a good way to go about Absolutely. it. Absolutely.